is prem prakash and welcome to my channel simple easy python today i am discussing the problem called math interpreter from problem set 1 conditionals of cs 50s introduction to programming with python i have already created solution videos for functions and variables and three other problems from problem set 1 deep thought home federal savings bank and file extensions if you have not watched them please go and watch the link is already given into the description section second thing is that so far i have not been coding into the code spaces i was uh, in all the videos i have coded into vs code so far the simple reason being that i had already passed and obtained the certification for this examination but today somehow i stumbled upon that okay cs50 is still allowing me to go into this code spaces and write the code so this video onwards i am going to write the code into the code spaces and check as it is given over here Uh, uh where how to check your cases number 2 i do not encourage plagiarism please try to write the code in your own way and i always keep saying that okay one code can be written into multiple ways with this background let us jump into this problem the problem states that you are required to create a file called interpreter.py and implement a program that will prompt the user for arithmetic expression and then calculate the output as a result and the output must be in the floating point as you can see here into the demo video let me stop it over here for the time being this demo video that is given here yeah and how it if you see this demo video oh you are going to prompt the user with the expression and then the user is supposed to input three parameters and all these need to be separated by a space first and the last parameter has to be a number whereas the second parameter can be a sign that is plus minus multiplication or division then and uh, one more thing here it is written that uh, that is assume that if y is division then z will not be zero what does it mean is that we need not worry about the zero division error with this background let me jump into over here i am already into this interpreter uh, so let us write here the uh, let me write here the code user input is equal to input expression this is it then what we can do here is that now user is going to enter something like that 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 so we need to just split this thing into 1 plus and 2 let us do that let us call it a b and c is equal to user input dot split how we are going to split we are going to split with a space that is the key point here yeah it has to be separated by the space or alternatively here straight away we can write it like that a b c okay let let us do it like this let let me copy this and put it over here and we don't need this line then now if i print a print b and print c up to here only and let us try to run this code what does it say 1 plus 2 where okay i did not split it over here uh, yeah. split with the space now let me clear the terminal and then run it 1 plus 2 what i am getting here is that 1 plus and 2 here so a is storing the value 1 b is storing the uh, symbol and 2 is going being stored into the c that variable now from here we can start doing our work first of all all these are type of a star we can check that also print type a i am and let's copy this and let me write it three oops what did i do copy it write it three times and c and b 
1 plus 2 again you see all these are a star but the output that is required it is in the float format therefore we need to first convert it into float so uh, not 9 it is a c is equal to float c now if i just try to type the type of a and c it will be uh, we not stir it will it is going to be float again the same thing i am going to enter here you see now it, it has been converted into float we are not going to convert b because b is going to be the expression plus minus like that now if b is equal to equal to plus then what we are supposed to return print print we are supposed to print a plus b a small case b but this has to be into a float up to a one decimal point therefore i am going to do like this if you come over here you can see it in the demo video it is 2.0 and it is clearly written here as well somewhere mm, uh, the result as a, f a floating point value formatted formatted to one decimal place therefore I am giving here one I think I need to uh, uh, here there need to be one more cl closing bracket yeah L if B is equal to equal to minus let me copy this part and I will keep pasting it then we have to do like this minus and it should not be b it should be c b is our minus c b is our symbol then then it is going to throw error if b is equal to equal to multiplication sign then what we are supposed to do we are supposed to multiply it again i have copied it b so it is coming up here else we can assume that user is not going to enter anything else or if you want then you can give here l if as well b is equal to equal to this then print round a divided by c up to one space this is it now we can keep checking the samples here let us start with a demo video one plus one clear the terminal one plus one two dot zero next in line is four divided by three run the program again four a space division sign divided by three one dot three which is matching here another way here is that what we can do is that instead of doing like this print and using the round statement it is not about the print statement it is about the round statement what i can do here is that i can alternatively use a f string and i will recommend all of you to use the uh, get used to this f string because it is a very very powerful tool and I am going to make this out a comment and run this program one more time 1 plus 1 2.0 similarly I can just copy it and paste it at all the places here uh, I need to change it to minus and I can make it a comment out this has to be multiplication sign and this will turn into comment similarly here uh, i need to convert it into a division sign and this will go as a comment just let me just check the remaining cases <coughs> one plus one we have already checked four by three four by three one dot three mm, then 100 minus one the next one is 
hundred minus one ninety nine. You can see it here. Your yeah, next one is minus one plus hundred. Minus one plus hundred. Oh, I need to run the com uh, pro program first. Minus one plus hundred ninety nine. We can check it out. You can keep checking the remaining cases. I can just I'm just going here and copying this thing and let us check what does the CS50 says interpreter yeah authentic connecting authenticating verifying preparing uploading it's time for the results the D-Day as we call it here you see all the test cases have passed so this was it uh, this was all for this video if you find this video helpful then consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel also share it with your friends uh, those who are doing pursuing this uh, cs50 uh, python course that will be much appreciated till that time happy coding